Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to export your logo that you made in Canva in high resolution. This could be a PDF, a transparent PNG, or an SVG, which is what you would use with your Cricut Design Space. So on their main page, they do have the logo option, which you can use to create a logo using their templates. This is a really great tool if you don't have a lot of design experience. They have a lot of options that you can choose from and just input your information, but pretty much the design is already ready for you. So I'm going to grab this orange one and try it with my logo. So I'm using my Return to Sender Co. shop, which is my Etsy store, as an example. And it's really easy to customize. Once you click on the template that you want to use, it'll populate on the right hand side. And to change the text, you just double click on it and then you just start typing. It will automatically adjust the width so you don't really have to worry about that. However, when I put mine in, I felt it was too wide. So you can easily adjust this by grabbing one of the corners and dragging it over so that it makes it smaller. I love how they have the text that wraps around the circle. It's already in place and then when you edit the text, it just makes it uh, to the size of how big your text is. So it's really customizable and really easy to use. You'll notice here one thing I did is I was trying to delete the star, but it was, I guess, the most bottom layer. So I just right clicked on my text layer and then chose to move it to the back. This way that star icon would be on the front side and then I could just click that and delete it because I just felt like it didn't look, didn't look good here <laughs> or move it. I did try and move it, but then still didn't like it. So I just clicked on it and then hit delete on my keyboard. Anyways, in the end, I hated this logo, so I tried a different one and preferred to use this one as an example instead. So to get a transparent background, I want to, well, first of all, I'm going to make my background white. For my Etsy store, when you order a custom stamp, I always ask for my files uh, from the customer to be in black and white and high resolution. So in order to change the color of your file in Canva, you just select your object Right now I'm selecting the background, so I'm going to make that white. For the stamp, you want whatever to be ink to be black. So now I'm going to select the text. I'm just holding shift while selecting each of those. And then I selected the A to change the color of my text to black. So it's really easy to change the color. And now we're going to export it. So you'll want to go to the download button. You can see there's some options in your file types. A lot of it is locked if you don't have the pro account. So PNG is what they suggest, but, and it says high quality image. However, the logo opens up as a 500 by 500 pixel image. So it's not that high quality, but I'm going to download the PNG that is default with the logo template and show you. And I'm also going to download PDF print. This is going to be um, a much higher quality version. So I'm going to open both of the files. This is the PNG using the logo template, which is 500 pixels. You can see when you zoom in, it is a little bit more blurry and pixelated. And this is the PDF. When I zoom in, it's still very crisp. So the, high, the print PDF will be the highest quality for your file because it's scalable. So I'm going to show you a couple other ways to get a high res image. In Canva, the logo template has a default of 500 pixels, which is not super high resolution. They have other presets like poster, which is 18 inches by 24 inches. This is quite a bit larger than the logo template. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the logo templates along with it. So if you open the logo template you just created, you can select your logo, click on copy, and then paste it in the poster dimensions. You can see when you paste it that it's quite a bit smaller than the other screen had it. So you can just drag it to make it bigger and now you know it can at least fit 18 inches wide when you come to printing. Or you can create your own custom size and since my logo is more rectangular in shape, I can do something like 11 inches wide, maybe by three inches high. I'm just guessing. And if I paste my image here, it uh, fits a little bit better, but still not perfect. 
but now I know that my inch or my <laughs> image is at least three inches tall when I print it. So you can download again like the PNG or PDF. If I download the PNG and compare it to my original PNG, which was the logo template, you can see that it's quite a bit bigger. So that's one way to get around it. However, if you want a transparent PNG or an SVG, the Canva uh, software doesn't allow you to do that if you don't upgrade. So I suggest downloading this free software called Inkscape. They allow you to work with Vector and you don't have to pay for it. So it's great if you don't have a Creative Cloud subscription for Illustrator or Photoshop. So once you download it, I'm showing you how to do it on a Mac because I have a Mac, so I'm not really sure how you do that on PC. But once you download it, you can open it and then you'll want to open the file. You don't want to open the PNG, you want to open the PDF the print PDF specifically. That's the one that we'll be able to manipulate. So in the options, the one that's default as checked has um, a setting that will replace fonts because Canva doesn't embed the fonts. So I wanna uncheck that box about the fonts and then go to the Poplar Cairo import. When you do this, it's going to save how you made the text. If you do it the other way, it's gonna replace the fonts with whatever they have. So now we got to get rid of the background because Canva exported this PDF as a background. So just double click on the background, hit delete on your keyboard. You'll have to do it maybe three times, but once you have it all gone, you'll now see that there's a black border. And if you drag and select over your image, you should only see your image or the logo being selected. So now we know that the image has no background. So we're going to go file export PNG image. You're going to see some settings on the right hand side. You'll want to pay attention to the DPI and the pixel width. DPI is dots per inch. You would need to know this when um, exporting for print. 300 is what is usually expected for print. Or you can change the width, which is pixels, and you can make that as big as you want because this image is scalable. So it's not going to stretch it, it's not going to distort it, and it's not going to pixelate it. Because this was exported as a print PDF, it's totally scalable. The options in advance you don't need to worry about. So when you're ready, just click export. And I'm going to show you when I open it up in my finder that it has a transparent background and it is much larger and way more high res and crisp. So you can also export as SVG, which is a file type that works really well with Cricut Design Space. To do that, you go file and save as the default selection is SVG, so you can just hit save and then use that later when you're making something in Cricut. I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions about Canva, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them.